Now, the hook I'm going to be using is this one here. This is a uh, full and melt. It's the competition heavyweight, in this case size 10. 10s and 12 are the two main sizes for, for this bumble. The thread I'm going to be using is uh, the wine, the wine coloured uni. You can see that. It's a nice colour. Now, what we're going to do is just put down a layer of thread. Now, I've waxed it along the body, but on the way down, I'm going to tie in. Now, this is a uh, peacock orange mylar. Number 14, and you see the colour there, that's a nice greeny colour. Now that's going to be the tag, the green side. It just lifts the back of the fly. You can use the orange side as well, but the green works. So, we just work our way to the back. Just using the, the mile as a guide. We come round the bend, probably around about 2 to 3 mil, and then we come back up. See that same distance, just to form a tag. I'm going to wind this over with a touch of super glue. So just touch the, the area you want the tag to be and then we wind onto it. If there's a wee touch too much, just touch it with your finger and then wind up. It starts to level out and then we can tie it off. Now that really holds the tag, that will stop it slipping. Now for the tail, there's two tail fibres I'm going to be using. I'm going to use the tippet, golden pheasant tippet and golden pheasant crest. Now this is the tippet uh, which has been dyed a, a nice hot orange. So what I'm going to do is hold the, hold the ends. Don't be shy with the fibres, you want a good dozen or so fibres for a nice orange. But remember the bumbles are being fished in the lochs and the, the lakes. Uh, it's called a bumble for a reason. It's usually well dressed, plenty of colour in this case, and you want to be able to bob it on the in the good wave. Fish is best then. You can reduce the bulk, it'll still work as a good fly. But to stick into this this style, this is what you want. Now I'm using a golden pheasant crest. Now I've actually dyed these the golden yellow, same colours I've been dyeing a few of the materials. So there's a the colour there. The crests are a bit they're not as full as they used to be, so I usually add or tie in two, depending on how good they are. So I've got two of the same length here. For this size of fly anyway. The smaller flies reduce it. Now this is a good salmon fly as much. Hence its name, it's a the Durham Ranger, as I call it, bumble because of the colours. Two or three turns just to hold. Now, there's, see, there's two there. Now, the length of the tail can be as long or short as you like as well. The tippet is equivalent to around about the shank length, just slightly shorter. Tail length is uh, about at least one and a half, maybe close to twice the length. And you see, it can go longer, depends on the style they want. And there we are. And trim this away an angle, practically the full length of the body. Now the rib of the fly is a, an oval gold tinsel. And this is a small just wax my thread. Again you want that to tie that in the length of the body, you see there. It just basically stops steps. It keeps the body a better shape. Just running it up, make sure it's secure. As we come down Take my thread right to the tail. See where we are, that's fine. Don't be shy if you do see a wee bit of the wine colour thread come through, don't worry, that's part of the fly. A golden olive, in this case, this is a seal's fur. Just going to lightly dub it on. Just get it on the thread. You can tighten up once we get it to the the body, meaning when we slide it up, there's that first turn or so, and we can then tighten to that anchor point. And as I say, don't worry about seeing the claret through, that's part of the colour of the fly. You'll see it more when it's wet. And as we wind up, which is tighten the dubbing as we go, twisting, just to get the shape that we want. Just need a tiny bit more. So, just Dub it on. 
Now you've got to remember there's a body hackle uh, and there's two hackles, uh, light blue and a partridge dyed yellow or golden yellow in the front. So we've got the hot orange for the body. This is just a hot orange cock hackle. Again the length of the fibre is up to yourself, it can be quite long, it could be short, it's up to you, it could be a saddle or it could be in this case an egg. So just remove the fluff, trim the stem to a length that you can actually tie it in. And just make sure that's secure. Nice and tight and a good base of thread down there. Now I'm just going to use the hackle pliers so you can see what I'm doing. With a nice straight turn or so at the top. And then again, being a bumble, you can be as many turns as you feel. Uh, you, like, it could be quite heavy dressed. As I say, they are for disturbance. Uh, hence the name. So it's a renowned pattern for being well dressed and plenty of fibre on it. You can tie it to suit yourself though. Once we come up with a ribbon, you're looking with five turns. Make sure it's secure and trim that away. And then we can break away or cut away the tip with the, the body hackle. We quite look here, yeah, that's that's fine. That looks okay. Now we've got a this is a teal blue hen. Now we've got a, these are large feathers that's left, but I like to use the tips up on these. So what I'm going to do is just remove fluff and tie it in by the tip just draw it back and what we do is we just trim it about say a mill, a mill and a half just so that you've got something to tie in Make sure there's wax on your thread. Again, just going to use the hackle plaster so you can see what I'm doing. There's enough st stem there to wind it without the hackle pliers, but if I use the, the hackle pliers, you'll be able to see what I'm actually doing. So, nice straight turns. Don't be shy with the blue. Uh, you want that colour to show. You're happy with the turns. There's a couple of turns in there. Make sure it's secure and trim away. And notice there's a couple of fibres left there, so what I'm going to do, just hold them back, secure these in, and use the thread turns to hold them. A nice base of thread down there for your, your front hackle. You see the, the length of the, the blue, it's just slightly longer than the, the orange. And then what we've got here is it is one of these these are partridge feathers, the grey that have dyed a golden yellow. This one has a wee tiny bit of the, the ginger, the brown you get. I'll show you another one. He, these are the bigger feathers. I like to use them up. And the bigger flies and the the length of the, the hackle the, it can be if you draw it out from the stem that'll give you the length, it'll show you exactly what the length is. Now you want it about the same as the blue, you don't want it too long. If you make it too long, it changes the shape and the profile of the fly. The bumbles are quite stubby-like. Uh, this will help keep the, the style. So what we do there is just remove the fluff. Again, we're going to tie this in by the tip. So I'm just going to use a hackle pliers. Again, it's very easy to use a hackle pliers. Just to, to hold the, the tip of the feather. Draw back these fibres. Just make sure it's uneven. So when we start winding, it starts exactly at the same point. Again, we're going to use a bit a mill or so of fibre. Or sorry, the tip of the, the hackle there to tie it on. Just wind it in. Again, I'll use my hackle plus to wind the, the hackle. Fold it back. Just start a nice straight turns. Drawing back these fibres, just follow it up with your thread, just at the point where it, 
you run out of fiber. And now what I'm doing here, make sure these fibers are back, is winding down towards the eye. And then because these stems are really fine, we can draw these back, tuck it back, bring the thread back up, forming the head. Now that's nice and tight, and I'm going to break this off to get a clean cut. You must hold the thread though when you do that, and keep it tight. And now always keeping it tight again, just straight in and whip finish. And there we are. Now that's a nice bumble pattern. And then all we have to do, come in and varnish. All the way around. Make sure the eye is clean. Uh, it's clean, there's nothing in there. I usually use my dubbing needle or a piece of wire. But there you go. That's your, uh, well, basically what I call the Durham Ranger or the Ranger Bumble. Many names for it. It's a good colour combination. Uh, it works extremely well in the Irish lochs, uh, it's, and it's a good, uh, and if you want to fish, there's many salmon run the, uh, the lochs in Ireland, and some even here in Scotland, and this is a, is a good pattern for that as well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you enjoyed the videos, please subscribe, and thank you for watching.